folks, North Country Knucklehead here. Gonna little, do a little uh, EDC video. And in case you're not aware, probably most of you are, uh, EDC in this case stands for Everyday Carry. Um, I was watching some different channels out there over the last year or so, and uh, this EDC thing came up, and I'm like, what the heck is this? I don't know, whatever. Um, and, and then it was, you know, Everyday Carry, and I looked at some of these, and it was like, uh, three pistols, seven knives, and whatever else they had uh, going on. I was like, wow. Huh. Anyways, uh, but I figured I started a channel. I might as well do one. Mine's probably not going to be as extravagant as many of those others that I've seen out there. Uh, but here it goes. Real, real simple and straightforward. Something, these are all the things that I've got with me that I nearly never leave house, the house without. Um, first off, keys and whether it's a motorcycle key or a car key or whatever it is but it's not the key so much is the fact that it's got a chapstick cozy cozy on it with chapstick in it I try to always have chapstick with me got one uh, on the desk at work hopefully there's one in the car and then one on the keychain but uh, chapstick crucial piece of equipment uh, what have I got in here next oh little money um, and, I, and I think green foldy money is an important thing to have with you. Uh, everybody has gone to this new, and not everybody, but, but the generation is time, is time has changed and we're all using uh, plastic, whether it's a bank card or debit card or credit card, whatever it is. But I think there's an important uh, lesson uh, to be learned to just have some uh, foldy money with you uh, in case you get someplace and they don't take the card. Uh, Man, why do I want to put a dollar ninety-seven for a cup of coffee uh, on my card when I can just uh, pull it out of my pocket? So yeah, a little bit of folding money to go along with a chapstick. One of the other things that I uh, have with me all the time has to do with convenience, age, and eyesight. Um, it's a flashlight. Uh, nothing high tech at all. I don't even know what the company is. It's iProtec. Uh, I-P-R-O-T-E-C uh, takes a double-A battery it has uh, taken some abuse LED uh, bulb the, the the clip the retainer on it had got bent and twisted and I had to re-manipulate it and cut it off and and all that sort of stuff but I have it with me every day uh, wherever I happen to go because this is almost the number one tool of the day that I take with me the number one tool of the day that I take with me is right here. It would be the old uh, cork sickle. I don't know if anybody can read that. Cork sickle uh, coffee cup. My daughter got this for me for Christmas, and it is the best travel cup mug I have ever used. Um, and I'm talking back to the days when we uh, had the volcano cups, you know, so that when it splashed it wouldn't come out, whatever that business was, um, until we've come to the, all these advances now. But this thing really works. Uh, corksicle, I guess. Um, I, I'm not a drinker, but they make these, uh, these uh, cork stoppers that when you open the wine you can put it in and it helps keep it chilled, whatever it is not entirely sure but they make one heck of a coffee cup uh, I've had coffee that I've got at the convenience store and, uh, and six hours later it, it's not room temperature it's warm you you take the lid off and you can feel it uh, the warmth on your face and it is a warm cup of coffee even six hours down the road sitting in your vehicle uh, pretty good stuff not advertising for them but it's the best one I've ever had uh, one of my other things Watch, man. Um, Casio Forester. Second battery, second band. Um, it's 10 years old. It's nothing fancy. It's beat up, uh, but I'm unable to, so far, destroy it or lose it, uh, which generally happens with things that, that I have. Especially if I spent a fair amount of money for it, I usually end up uh, breaking it and destroying it. My wife gets me nice watches that I wear when I go to a graduation or a banquet or a wedding or something like that. But this is the everyday. Uh, tells me what it is. It's got hands that go around. It doesn't have Mickey on it, but it's that same sort of technology. Uh, one of my other pieces 
is a pocket knife. Uh, I remember growing up as a kid, uh, that was the big thing when you got your first jack knife. Uh, today they've evolved quite a bit, but I, but I carry a pocket knife with me uh, with a clip on the pocket, makes it easy to access. This is a spring assist, so it's easy for one hand opening. I use it for everything. It's a Gerber. I think it's the fast draw. Nothing fancy about it. Uh, $30 I think it is. And I don't, a lot of people have a lot of really nice and expensive knives, companies, people, whatever it is. Again, I tend to uh, either lose stuff or break stuff. In this case, and it might be kind of hard to see, I don't know if you can see it there, but the tip of this has been broke off. I was working on a motorcycle and, uh, and needed to have just a little bit of leverage, a little bit of a pry bar or something, and this was... Uh, one hand accessible, easy to deploy, and uh, and got the job done, but it did cost the tip of the knife. I'll have to maybe fix that at some point in time. But yeah, there's the uh, the EDC piece with that. Um, cell phone, uh, nothing fancy. It's, uh, a, it's a Samsung Galaxy J1. I don't know what that means. Um, I can I can play on the internet. I can get phone calls. I can send text messages. I can check Facebook and see if anybody likes me, whatever it is. Uh, but that's what that is. And there's a good chance that of any of this stuff here, if I forget any of it for the day, it'll be this. It, it'll be sitting home on the charger, or it'll be sitting someplace not charged. One of those kind of deals. But that's in my back pocket, and uh, and, and that's that uh, as far as the phone goes and that sort of stuff. Um, and then there's one more piece that I have that I don't have with me ev everywhere, every day. Uh, part of it has to do with my job and where I work. Uh, the other thing is a uh, law-abiding citizen, unfortunately, I guess some people might say. But I honestly am. And, uh, and if I can, uh, I legally carry a pistol. And if I'm prohibited from having it, I won't have it in those places. In this case, it's a... Uh, Smith & Wesson Shield 9 in a uh, blade tech inside the waistband Kydex holster. Uh, got the got the loop straps on it. And and that's kind of what it is. The whole uh, uh, North Country Knucklehead IDC stuff. Uh, works really good, really comfortable. Uh, so much easier to carry. I was uh, in the past uh, Glock 22. Uh, big, heavy, uh, cumbersome. Not the easiest thing to... Uh, to conceal uh, Bursa 380, which same size as this, uh, but the 380 versus the 9 millimeter, and this is so much flatter, smoother, squarer, easier to carry, much more comfortable. No sharp edges or pokies or things sticking out. Um, years ago, before that, I had a uh, Springfield P9, uh, which is the Browning High Power CZ knockoff kind of thing. Um, by Springfield back in the 90s, late 90s, maybe it was early 90s, whatever it was. All steel gun, heavy, was like a tank. Uh, but yeah, this is this is what I take with me. I do carry a backpack, usually has my wallet in it. See, because I don't carry a wallet if I don't have to. I got everything here, uh, driver's license and that sort of stuff, all, all tucked in there. Because honestly, your wallet, for me, a wallet's a pain in the ass. And uh and so I'll put it in the backpack and maybe have phone charger in there, or earphones, checkbook, that sort of stuff. And yes, that's how old I am. I actually still carry a checkbook and use it from time to time. But that's my EDC. Uh, thanks for listening. 